So Fang usually plays C Sots. He's learning the other Sotskis. And a C Sotski is pretty good. I don't know very much about H, and I don't think I got a good idea of how her tools differ. But he was playing H for these really long sets that we played. Getting more consistent on that pickup, which is really good. Now that one, I do have a better pickup for. I just have not been executing it. In this game, I'll start executing it later. Oh, to be too small. That's stuff I should be more ready for. Oh. Even if there was a grounded approach, that 2A really wouldn't have helped me very much. That was a bad choice. Well, that was supposed to be me crouching, but I accidentally did a backdash buffer. That's me starting to recognize when my combos are hitting too high, and I adjusted that perfectly. I'm really happy about that. Because usually I would just drop those earlier, but I got a better sense now of when those are going to drop. Again, I didn't convert that because I almost wasn't expecting it to work. Just got to be more confident there with some stuff I'm doing. Oh. oh yeah. Does this let me go to next replay? It doesn't. That sucks. Number eight. I'm gonna get my notepad up on the side again because remember last time was not keeping track of which one I was on. But now we are. So that's my turn to jump, it looks like, at the end of that long string. Don't know why I chose to do that 2 2 be there. <laughs> Pretty late. Now I start noticing my guard bars getting chunked. I EX guard once, but then get hit trying to EX guard again. H burst. Hard knockdown. That was a mistake for me to push there. 2 2 b is negative. I even messed up the 2 2 a. I tried using 2-2-A for Oki, also a different part, and I messed that up a lot. I don't know why I went for it, though. <laughs> I don't remember how this round ended, unfortunately. This, I was testing if I could get it from mid screen if she's close enough to me, but not. Good reaction to the counter hit. Went low after a stagger, and I think I caught him jumping there. That was decent pressure, but pretty lengthy. I'm safe from the bunker there because I usually do JC's really deep. I don't really learn my lesson against uh, not JCing against him when he was doing uh, like standing shield. But there was a lot of times where I was just doing it deep enough that it didn't matter. 
I guess that's something I can just work on, is if they are starting to bunker it, even if I'm safe, I'd prefer for them to shield, for me to land, and then punish them. That's, again, I don't know how that works as well as it does, but sometimes it works. There, I fuck up my routing. <laughs> I don't think she can chain after that. He's usually using that as like an ender or like a reset, so that was a pretty risky place to shield without having a good idea of what's going on. Oi! Get hit trying to do late anti here. Get caught trying to land with JB. You see, that's where it ends. Oh, I get a nice punish on the EX grab. So for this, I eat that a few times after the mid-screen air throw. I do like a dash forward, and he's able to catch me because Satsuki's buttons are pretty damn good at that range. That was an interesting trade for me to win. Um, yeah, but he was able to just toss buttons at me there after the mid-screen. What I just needed to start doing was after landing to IAD and then put a button in. And that would have gone over the low button that he's putting out there. So that's something good to remember if people are Taking away and then trying to challenge you. <laughs> Max range there. I think I've got a 2B after that. Because it's like minus 2 or something. So if I need a way to interrupt the buttons that she's going to put out, it's got to be like 2B. Hard knockdown. There, he does a mid-shield, which is really nice, and I die for that. So then we start adapting around that. Number 10. There's like 40 in this set, by the way, so... We're going to be here for a bit. Nice throw. Wow. What a match. I didn't think that was going to work. And see? Good adaptation by me, I will say. Since he did mid shield before, I just went low this time. With uh, 2B. Oh, did not have my forward jump there. Chase the tech. Again, was not ready to follow up. Just need to be more prepared for those situations where something does land. That, I thought, was a smarter shield. I think I was just tapping one AD there. Because I was thinking that, like, 2C or slide was going to come out. Oh. Mmm. I thought that would have caught. There we go. Way more ready there. And even that time, my dash up would have gotten blasted. There's the first time I see that trade not work out. Because last time that trade happened, it ended the round when I got a hit. So that's a pretty risky trade. But if he's charging it up at a close range, I can interrupt it. So it's like a, it's a guess that I've got to make. If I really want to risk it there. Otherwise, I can just shield. Because 2C is like really wild. Oh. Just landed right under me. He's in heat, so I just want to tap him, but now he's out of heat, so I'm good. That hit way behind me. 
So here's where I start changing up my pressure and I start trying to adapt to catch the jump, but I'm not fast enough with my 5As really. And I died for doing a DP there. Kind of sitting and jumping and jaying and seeing until something happens. This is where he starts doing that, and I'm not ready for if that was actually real or not. Because I swear I'd seen times when it's fake. This is way too high. Uh, I swear there was times where I'd seen that and it was fake, so I wasn't really ready for it. Nice. Unfortunately, not keeping my control there. That looks like a place where pressure ends but I do not know the frame date on that yet. That was a great cross under. And I started to do the pickup, but then I flubbed it, which is unfortunate. Uh-uh, plus frames. Oh, I was fuzzy mashing, thinking it might be a throw there. Oh, I tried to do the better pickup there. YOLO. And then a mid. Sure that that's a frame trap. Just doing Miyako things here. <laughs> so there, I'm able to, again, catch the jump, but I need to actually be very reactive in order to put them back in the corner there. Messed that up because I should just be going for the combo. I should be going for the 6C starter combo there. I get hit by those a lot. This kills though. She do be flopping. Hmm. That's I, I dash up and I pause for a second. And he does challenge that redash. Again, Fang doesn't play that much H Sotsky, so I think he does drop a few things. See, that was a fake one. This is where I was like really questioning myself. I was like, oh, should I move when he's doing that falling attack? I miraculously managed to stop the follow up button with a 2P there. That's pretty sick. I'm kind of sick sometimes, but that combo's at a really weird angle. I hadn't seen a combo that was that low to start before. Mess up that. We got max. I think I tried IH here. <laughs> Instead I get blood heat, and then I get owned. <laughs> oh no, I turn it around somehow. That was really bad. I was thinking of two things there. I was thinking of, I want to do the knock knock okie, but I also want to IH to get my health back. And those two conflicting ideas did not work out. Ooh, YOLO. Every now and then the YOLO kicks are good just to scare the person playing against. Mm. I go for, in the mid game, like we're in our first few sets here. In the middle of our long sets, I just start going a lot more grounded and seeing what I can do there. Nice. And there we go. See, that's that's the smart thing I got to do there. Oh, man, this character's fucked up. Pick up. There we go. That looked cleaner. Get blasted by that, though, because I didn't time my 5A whiff. It's fine, though. We're YOLOing. Okay. <laughs> No! Take me back to the replay list. Sorry about that. 13.
Yeah. I'm getting way more cohesive with my offense. Still a little bit of a ways to go. The important thing eventually happens in one of these sets. I finally land that big combo I've been working on. Like the last important Miyako combo I need to do. His offense was really strong there. I liked that. That's, yeah. My 5B is way too deep at that point for that reversal. Nice low shield. I'm going to shield back just showing you I can do it too. <laughs> nice. He blocked that. And I just held up again, which I thought... I don't know. It's not exactly the greatest choice, but here's the thing, like, I'm going to have to remember that later because that stomp is plus five. So pretty much after that stomp, even if they block it, it's definitely my turn. So being able to jump is going to be important because people are going to start like low shielding or something, expecting me to dash or go for a button. So I do like that choice I made there, even though it didn't really benefit me in any way. Good air throw. I don't even like worry about getting air thrown in this game. It's like less it's more rewarding than getting air thrown in gear, but it still is just like I don't know. Your options for stopping someone when once you get someone to start air throwing, I think the game gets in your favor a little bit if you're able to adapt around that. Because whiffing an air throw sucks. There's my IH starter. Whiffing an air throw puts you in a really bad spot. Unlike gear, where you'll just OS it the entire time by doing like, uh, like PH or SH or KH or some shit. Uh, I died there. So yeah, I don't mind getting air thrown that often, as long as I'm adapting around it. Like that. <laughs> That's uh, exactly what I was just talking about. Air throwing has a lot of risk in this game. And the reward is okay for a lot of characters. Oh yeah. You just gotta keep your movement good. <gasps> no. Fucked up the combo. Oh, see I was getting closer to stopping that jump out there. I just jumped a little too late. My pressure there was pretty all right. I think that was kind of mediocre. It could have been a little bit better, but I'll take it for now. We're getting, we're slowly, slowly getting to tighter pressure. So I'm not worried too much. Oh, max range 2v. 4.5k baby. Oh, mashes out of my stagger. Knock, knock. Which is good. I've just got to keep that tighter then. I don't have the muscle memory to keep it that tight yet. That was a routing I just kind of did on the spot. And I'm really happy I worked that out. Oh, I got blasted there. With Miyako, really, like, if you can get them to the wall and you just bounce them and then do reverse DP for the elbow... That looked super obvious. Okay. That was a, a bad habit. I jumped back and then air dashed in. Like, the seven jump air dash is not good. That gives them so much time to do stuff. I should just start IEDing sometimes if I want to do a pressure offense. Instead of giving them that lull to see me jump back. I think there's probably a place and a time for a jump back IED. Like, if I'm too close to a character like Nero or Wara, characters who've got big buttons who can blast me, then maybe a jump back is warranted. But against Satsuki's basic buttons, I was way out of range for anything there. 4k. I like that jump forward just pause I did there. I'm going to try to watch my patterns here. It's not the routing, I just kind of did with the 2 2 3. Oh! <laughs> Incredibly, that traded and I won. That must only have invul not to active.
So that was the right timing for Knock Knock, I think. I kept my pressure really long there, and I think Fang just respected me. He respected me just because he's not so confident with his offense and defense on this character yet. If he was playing CSOTs, he would have mashed out early, and I would have gotten blasted by, like, 2C or something. Too high, again. But that's a kill. Number 15. Number 15. Again, we got a lot of sets, so I'm just trying to get these going. Oh, nice starter. This is going to hurt. Oh, I blocked it. <laughs> Falling JB. Too rewarding. Going low this time. Oh, they are left a really unnatural pause, which is awesome. And there's the combo. There it is. Oh, and I finished the round with it. Number 15. Thank you, number 15. I am so happy after that. All right, coming back here. Get my 5v starter, but don't end the combo there. That's the right height. That was, oh, I like that pressure a lot more. And this, there we go. Now we're playing this bastard child. Doesn't kill, though. I don't know how I ended up back on the other side. Left a really big gap there. If he was matching faster, he would have gotten me. That that one has the combo. That is the one I nut to. I finally landed the combo. I'm so happy. So I don't know. Going for a 2B2C is like not good. It pushes them really far away, and I also definitely lose a lot of my turn. There again, I'm able to block the bunker follow-up. Shield counter, follow-up. Oh. That wouldn't have worked if he was a bit farther. And he had been spacing that really well. He was spacing it just out of range before. And here he started going for those, uh, like, almost looks like a witch way. Where he jumps up, then air back dashes, and then JC. There we go. I haven't done that pattern yet. So I did the full pressure, and then I dashed back in and through instead of dashed back in with a button. So that was a good variation. Almost got guard crushed there. Jesus. Too high. And I recognize it, and we end the round. Yes! So I noticed that one halfway through. After I did the first A, B, C, I noticed that it was going to be too high for the next A. I did B, C, and then I did the DP ender, and it sealed the round, actually. So I'm happy about that recognition because it paid off there. Otherwise, that would have dropped, and I might have been in a bad spot. Man, I really want the swag combo to get more consistent. I'm able to block that. I went for 5B, though, which does not work again. It's way too slow. Just creating the wall with JC. Slightly delayed 5C. Oh, good. Good, good, good bunker. I'm not that good at dealing with bunker yet. So the more I see it, I'll start to realize what I need to do. That killed me. Come on. JB falling starter. So here again, I just missed the knock knock.
I think what J Bell does is 2P5P. Or, <laughs> whoops, sorry, 2A5A. And I'm trying to do 5A5A because 2A5A works if they're. It doesn't let you stagger it because 2A has a much further range than 5A, but also more pushback than 5A. Oh, there. So what I was trying to do here, and I fuck it up a few more times, is I tried doing either super dash, uh, not super dash, uh, super jump, or a dash 2-2-C. That thing. That move is just, that's her cheater move. That move is super fucked up. I, like, cannot even explain how fucked up that move is. Number 17. Well, there we go. 17. Oh, I turned off numlock. That's why. Seventeen. <laughs> yeah, two two C is a really, really good move. Uh counter hit starter. Overhead, but again, I'm not used to following that up. I really should get more used to it, because sometimes against someone who's going to be really respectful, it's a good choice. Oh, that's what I noticed. This Satsuki doesn't have her 2-2 reversal. That reversal gives me a lot of trouble. If he had that reversal, I'd be losing a lot more just because I can't deal with it yet. Just create the wall. Oh. I didn't move forward more, I moved backwards a bit. There, I completely missed my knock-knock timing. How plus is that move? Let's look right now. 5C charged. Drop that counter hit combo. Oh, drop it again. It's fine. Oh! The full one! Yes! Yes! Also in 17. That's the second time I hit it, and I think that's the last time I hit it. I'm putting that as the full combo. I may not sound super excited about that, but trust me, I am so excited I landed that one. <laughs> that combo is just awesome to land. It didn't win me the round like the first one, but that was the application of the full combo, so I kind of got both uses in there. Not choking on the round winning combo and also being able to land the full thing there. So I am a happy camper. Uh, H Satsuki 5C charge. 5C charged. Oh, neutral on block. Oh, and it does not have that much of a hurt box on the front of it, unlike the normal 5C. Interesting. Neutral on block, fast charge, and f move forward momentum, or more forward momentum than the end charge, I see. I'm dead here? Oh, maybe not. Oh! Shield counter legend. Ah, oh, dropped my air throw at the end. That I definitely dropped. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could twice in one set. Unfortunately, I could not. Eh, it's fine. Oh my god, I hit once again too much. No! Alright. That was number 17. Let's go to number 18. We definitely have some pretty interesting changes to our game style the more that we played this set. Like, again, slowly into this mid-game, I start just, uh, because we're on game 10 right now, or 11, I start to play more grounded. And I go back to keeping it simple, because I, I landed the combo, let me, let me play it a little simple again. Great shield there. I didn't know she had a dodge that let her move, but I mashed on it anyways. So here I just start walking, and I'm like, you know what? Walking is awesome with this character. 
falling back. JC, very nice. Don't end the combo, but still a good use of falling back JC. Nice anti-air grab. Wonder if that was CSAT's routing though. That got a block there. <laughs> Cause we both traded counter hits. Even though I've got fast buttons, I can't challenge the range of her buttons that have like a similar speed, I think. It's pretty risky. Nice. Good finish there. That was an impressive call out. I wasn't expecting it. There! There we go. Just jab into throw again. Oh, that was a good falling button. That's the startup on her command throw. I hadn't seen that yet. Go low. That should kill. Replay selection number 19. Fatal. Ah. Let's look at some other Shotsky buttons. So I'm trying not to give away any patterning with how I'm playing. I just want to make sure I'm not being like too predictable or something. Good shield again. There. Oh, oh. once her 2-2-C is in your head, just normal 9-jump JC is like so powerful. Normal 9-jump late JC is just fucked. You can beat both of those if you mash. But the issue with mashing is that if I've just done like 5B, I still have 2B available as my chain option. And then you're going to get hit low by mashing something to anti air those. Nice, got the full thing. Blasted here because I did 5B. I did not expect a crossover there. God damn. There, I changed up my falling. Instead of just falling straight down, I jumped again just to create a little more space and see what he did. But he didn't do anything there. Oh, I got blasted. Oh, her 2B is a fucking 100 per region starter. What? Oh, her 2C is minus 15. Unless it's charged where it's plus 3. Mm, okay. Does she have a 3C? Yeah, she does have a 3C. Oh, guard crush, air throw. Tried to predict a dash back in, but that was pretty costly choice to DP there. Now number 20, almost halfway there. <laughs> Again, this was a really long set. focus back here just was not looking over there reversal throw which actually blasted me there i don't know how real that is uh reversal throw uh three frame with full involvement on those three okay i die there 
Yeah, so reversal throw is actually, or uh, reversal blah, 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 command throw. It's actually pretty decent. Oh, I accidentally skipped through the start of the neutral. There I was backing up just to see what he did, and Bunker hit me still. Just chose to sit there, and he went over me. Oh, Bunker again. That's a good counter, but I drop it. Oh, oh, falling JB, but too far. And I blasted because I did a 2v and got it. Oh. Thank God she doesn't have a lot of health. XD. Knock, knock. That was a good uh, elf counter. But you're back. And you bunker this time, bitch! Just went over me. Probably just overestimating the range that he's jumping at. YOLO! That was weird. I wanted to show him that. I don't know what he pressed there because he was above and behind me and my 5A caught him. Yeah. Uh, was it, could it have been JB? JB and JC both extend that vertical hit uh, herpox a little bit downwards. Might've been one of those, but I do not know for sure. Oh well. Number 21. Alright, back to reality. So I jump back, and then jump forward, jump back, then jump forward two times. Nice shield there. Oh, that destroyed me. I thought he was actually going to cross up there. I'm trying to EX guard way more here, and I just get hit by random things because I'm fucking up. I was also starting to think about like rising JA as an anti around this time, so I did a JA there. Uh, it doesn't really give me anything though. That was a falling JA too, nonetheless. Uh, different concept, but let's see. Here I'm just walking. Jump, jump, JC. That looked like it was going to drop in my eyes. Oh! EX guarding that gave me a lot of frames back. The cool thing about doing JC so late is that people will just whiff stuff. Again, I'm really bad at keeping him in the corner here. Oh. Looks like he was holding up there, so he got hit by Guard Crush. Let's just walk. My uncle likes walking. Jump back, jump forward. Balling JB. Ah, low shield. Nice off counter. Jump back, jump forward, jump back, jump forward. JC, jump back. Oh, nothing that time. Jump back, ID. Oh, I finally did an ID and I get fucked for it because it was a bad time to ID. Jump back, jump forward, jump back, neutral jump.
Wowee, what a late pickup. This character is cheap. Twenty-two. Really just trying to pay attention to my habits here and get a better sense of what I should be doing differently. Jump back, neutral jump with a forward drift. That's a nice challenge, I liked that. Again, I'm buffering the 2 2 when I don't need to there. Let's burn some more meter. Oh, baby! 2 2 C, we're out. Nice catch there. Just dashed back at me. I lose a few times when I'm just trying to dash at him at the same time he's dashing at me. And those are times where I'm like, man, I wish I ID'd here. Like that. Oh, again, I just wasn't ready for that dash in. Oh. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump forward, JC. Hit while dashing. <laughs> 2p, max range. Let's get some meter off. Good bunker. Knock, knock into throw, but messed up that. Oh, that's scary looking, actually. I should just do that a few more times against people that have short buttons. That does not work against Nero. So as I mentioned, I've been pushing more ground game in these sets. Jump, neutral jump, neutral jump. I like that. Forward jump, JC. Oh, too far for that 2B. Oh, that overhead. Again, really getting that late pickup. That's really good. Because otherwise that combo leads that leads to nothing if I just 2C there. Oh, forced tech that time and I just wasn't ready to catch it. That was a good test on me. Because I what he's just been no teching, so I haven't been looking for the tech catch left right. There we go. Caught it. And I'll show you that I can air throw too, but this gets hella prorated because again, air throws don't reward you that much. Two two C. Let's watch neutral go. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump back, JC. Jump back, JC. Jump forward, JC. Ooh, that's a one two three pattern though. I just autopiloted the rest of it because it's actually safe there unless they start shielding. How do I play neutral here? Jump back with nothing. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Damn, insta alpha counter. Just get me out. I was schmoovin', but I didn't really have a purpose to be schmoovin' there for. I did like a super jump forward, back dash, jump, jump with a drift or an air dash there. Didn't really see too much of a purpose for those though. Jump back, jump forward. Jump back, jump forward, jump back, jump back, jump forward, JC, jump forward, JC, get hit dashing. Nice command throw. Oh, again, I'm just trying to do stupid things against that because I don't know how real it is, but it's real enough. I should just respect it. I was trying to 2B to stop redashing, and I'm getting blown up for it now, so. I've really got to be confident. That's like the same call out as like a shield. You got to be really confident they're going to redash. I'm being respectful here, which is good, because I could be getting blown up a lot more, but I'm also not taking my turn well enough, and I lose the round. Jump 
Jump back, jump forward. Jump back. Jump back, jump forward. Oh, my 5P miss. Jump back, jump forward. Dash and almost got hit. Not gonna act like that was a good choice. That was good. Jump, delay, jump forward. I'm really trying to watch for his redash, and he's playing really well because he's just holding 9 and blowing me up because I'm not doing anything there. I'm dead here. Twenty five. See if I can find any more patterns I got. Jump back, jump forward, JC. That's probably my worst pattern. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump back, jump forward, JC. <laughs> I can keep saying it because there, <laughs> jump forward, jump back. My movement's all right. I forgot who complimented me saying my movement was good, but I don't know how I feel about that still. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I get caught in predictable patterns. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump forward, jump forward, JC. Dashing 2B is nice. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump forward, JC. Falling JB, that's another one I do a lot. Oh, jump, jump, air dash. Dashing 2B. Oh, this was not ready. I think I was holding up there. Antier does not catch me. That's a good dash under. Hey, there we go. That was well played. Oh, whiff throw. I did it like way too early there. Because it was the right idea since he did bunker. Oh, I fucked up. Twenty six. Come on, show me more patterns. I need my bad me to show me more patterns. Jump forward, jump forward, JC. Ooh, gets hit. Just moved out of the corner with a 5B and it worked out. Punish the bunker here, nice. And there... I do 5P and then try to do a throw, but he was already in the air, so that's where I need to just start jumping and finishing that air combo. Nice dash under again. I'm doing good on these dash unders, I think. That's one aspect of my game that improved quite a bit, is judging distances and then doing a dash under. Because with Miyako, that's pretty rewarding if you can get that starter. Mm, jump back, jump forward, JB. JC. Jump back, jump forward, JC. I did a jump forward, jump forward. Nothing, which is nice. That's a little variety. Raw throw. Knock, knock. Again, just cannot keep people in the corner well enough here. I should watch how other people do it. I think I just need to 5P, 5P better, but I do not. Oh, just getting hit trying to move, I bet. Jump. Oh, he just landed under me. I should have just done a throw there. I don't know what the movement was there, but it worked out, I guess. Once I get towards the end of my strings, I just kind of finish them instead of trying to do forcible resets there. Because like if I can get people to start trying to anti-air the 2-2-C, then I can just 
dash 5B or 2B and blow them up. Or if they're willing to block that, then I just dash and throw. Again, just get out of the corner by 5B. Purely luck. That was a good place to reset, because usually at that point of the string, I just keep going and I go like 5C. Oh! Again! Is this the same one? I might have put the same one back. If I get hit on the next one, he does. Is this the same one? Yeah, because I did that dash under and mess up. Okay. Sorry about that. 27. <laughs> okay. I remember because I got that charge 6C there after the dash under. Okay. Freshen up again. Just jump C. Okay. Nice. Jump back, jump forward, jump back, jump forward. Oh. Even this one looks kind of familiar, because I guess we've seen that situation. Again, there's like 40 matches here. We've probably seen that situation a few dozen times now. Oh, jump forward dash. Jump forward, JC. Okay. Because, again, the jump back, jump forward, JC, like, what am I doing with that that I couldn't just be doing with, like, a jump forward, JC? I'm giving him more time to see that I'm in the air. That was good. Jump forward, neutral jump, then air dash. That's something different, at least. Did it have a purpose? I don't know. I got blasted for it. I'll assume that was just bad movement. <laughs> Nice snipe. This is way too high, though. Tech out of those. Come on. Just follow the path again. Wasn't sure how much time I had to punish that. Ah, 5B, 2B whiffs. At max range, I should just be doing 5B, 5C, because both those move me forward. 2B does not move me forward. That was a good time for jump jump, JC, because I stayed above him and then could just fall down. And Satsuki's air buttons don't aim up as high. Get hold, <laughs> get hit trying to hold up there. That was 27. We go to 28. We're already an hour into this. God damn. Jump, jump, air dash, JC. That was a good air dash back in. I wasn't ready for that. And I was like, oh shit, this is actually like a real Sasuke looking combo. Wow. Again, 2B2C, not good. That's a bad old habit. Yeah, what is stopping me from just doing 9C? Oh! <clears throat> jump forward, jump forward, C. That's, again, just not good. What am I doing with that? Jump forward, neutral jump, air dash. It's like they have so much time to see me coming. If they catch that pattern, I'm just blowing myself up every time. That's a pretty ballsy call out. Ah, oh, try to preemptive JC there to catch an air tech button. I tried to get that combo. That's one I have not labbed. Air throw. We're out.
I also do a lot of random like 5Ps just in neutral. Oh, got hit dashing back in. That I wasn't ready for. <laughs> Look at me EX guarding like a champ though, damn. That was a weird interaction. And I dropped the combo. Oh well, we got it twice this set. And that ends the round, okay. Twenty-eight, I believe. Unless this was exactly the same. Am I just losing track? Yeah, we watched this one. Okay. Man, I am just terrible at keeping numbers on today. 29. This wouldn't be a problem if I was just streaming these when we actually played. <laughs> Nice, that was good that was good offense. You just did dash air dash. Oh, I finally blocked it. Oh, ate my input and gave me a quarter circle back. Knock knock to bunker. Dead or not <clears throat> dead. <laughs> jump back, jump forward, jump back, jump forward. What is the purpose of my movement there? Jump forward, jump forward, JC, okay. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Super jump in, JC. That was good. That was good. I'll give myself props for that. Neutral jump. Nice. Here we go. I think he starts blowing me up for my JC habits here. No idea why I yelled that. <laughs> I just wanted to fuck around there. That I almost recognize as being, hey, I should do something here, but I didn't do it fast enough. Nice throw. Good throw. Jump forward, jump back, JB, jump forward, jump forward, air back dash, nothing. Probably could have done a JC on the air back dash, and I would have covered it better. Nice. There I was thinking of putting in more 5Ps, uh, 5As, just to stop any jump movements, but uh, there was a bunker. Nice. I finally called that out. Or maybe that's the second time I've called that out, or second or third. Oh, I messed up that pickup. And here I just go 2C a few times and jump and see what happens. There I dash, and that's definitely going to get me blown up, because that's very negative and I'm dashing forward on it. I thought maybe me showing that I was jumping after it would have been enough, but it was not. Oh, what a whiff punish. This boy's a gamer. Oh. 
Oh! See, he even recognized it, that I do jump forward, jump forward, JC. The fact that I put in an air dash that time was good. <sighs> that end of the round. Jump forward, jump forward, JC. Jump falling back, JB. Oh, didn't stop it there. I got one hit, but I just did not keep it going. That's my turn to act. Oh, with the air throw, but I did not react fast enough. Owned. 31. Another 10 or so to go. We're almost done. <laughs> jump back, jump forward, JC. I knew it was coming. That's definitely my worst habit. Jump forward, JC is also... It can work, because that is just putting a hitbox out on the map. Jump forward, JC. Jump back, air dash, JB. <laughs> Why JB and not JC there? I don't know. Was I expecting to meet him in the air horizontally? Falling back, JB. That's actually decent. Fake, meaty. Ah, <laughs> oh, 5B. No, I did it again. 2C into the dash, cannot do that. Jump back, jump forward, jump back, jump forward. So here, like, moving across the ground is good because if he's expecting me to come through the air because I literally do jump back, jump forward, JC every time, then I can just gain free space or snipe with 2B. So being predictable with those isn't always bad, but it's definitely going to see jump forward, jump forward, JC. I've never even been like that conscious of this, so this is like pretty eye opening. Ah, oh, see with that, I thought I'd got him in the air, so I held nine and JB to try to finish an air combo there. There again, I wanted to test two v two c dash. Oh. that was nice. Dash, jump forward, and then double jump eight. That was cool. I usually don't finish that invalid combo. Super jump nine. YOLO. <laughs> super jump nine is also a good thing. Because I haven't been super jump nining either. I just play very patient. Well, I mean, okay. Is jump back, jump forward JC that bad? If someone just can't deal with it, I think it's good, but I haven't ever been made to really adapt to it. I think Webb was making me start thinking about it, and now that I'm reviewing some sets, I see how badly I'm doing it. So let me get corner combo here. Jump back, air dash, JC. Oh. And just not blocking. Probably holding up. Uh, 32. Jump forward, jump back, JB. Jump back, JB. Blast it. Oh! Air dash back, JC. See, that's always, like, that's probably way better to do in these situations than what I'm doing. <laughs> dash, jump forward, JC preemptive. I think that was actually a good choice. Because if he had done a button rising, like, uh, Sasuke's, like, JB, that one she charges, then I might have been able to catch it. Oh, snipe the whiff. Yeah, you deserve that win animation there. 
This is 32, right? Am I even keeping track? Nice. Good pickup. Oh. Again, he just lands over me. I think he's just not comfortable with the range. Not giving a fuck, and it works out. Oh, that's nice. Because I had shown that I redash a lot. That nine jump was really good. Do not own me. I got one health left. YOLO! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, double YOLO. Uh, so I think that was, was that 32? See, this would be awesome if it just stayed on the replay I just watched. I don't know if this was 31 or 32. Let's speed through this one and see. <laughs> what was noticeable from this set? Oh, yeah, EX guarded that. Okay. And I did the back drift uh, JC there. Okay. So... If that was 32, then we are on 33. 33. Actually, 10 left now. Jump back, jump forward, JC, and I get blasted. <laughs> the spacing really matters for it. That was wild. I was pretty sad about that. Oh. Super jump and then 8 jump. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Super jump, 8 jump, though, I really haven't established a precedence for it because I haven't been super jump 9-ing. Or, but I haven't been super jump 9 jc -ing. Not cannonballing myself at him. I ex guarded it again, dude. Getting good. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Just finding my space on the ground, but I get tagged. I don't know what he was going for here. Oh, no, he whiffed air throw. I think the last time we were playing, uh, he was just air throwing me more because I was like completely unsure about what to do against Satsuki stuff, so I was just holding eight. Um, but this time I was more comfortable staying on the ground because I just wasn't getting three way mixed each time. Jump forward, back ugh, back dash, JB. Nice smash there. I wanted to walk back in and get some repressure, and probably then do a button again. Again, jump over JB. That shit does a lot of work. Oh, again, I almost had the combo finisher that time. So close. <laughs> I'm getting really close to recognizing that. Oh, I've tagged them with a JA while they're jumping. Let me finish that air throw. When I was playing... Oh, there's a super jump. JB, nice. Jump back, jump forward. Air dash JC. When I was starting to play, like initially, I didn't have too much on my plate. That's a good shield. Uh, so I was reacting to those things when I was doing like uh, 5A, 5A. I was able to jump and throw people. But since then, I've kind of been focusing my mental stack on landing combos. I don't know what the point of that was. Jump forward, neutral jump, JC at max height just seemed like a weird spot. Probably a little too late on that mash. If I finish this, there we go. Nice throw to end the round. 34! Basically, all levels of my player are improving each time. We're steadily getting closer to like a very stable player. There's a lot more things I've got to iron out still, but uh, feeling pretty good. That is a very risky move to use in the middle of your pressure. Especially mid-screen. Like, you should min-stagger that or make it gapless. Snipe. Way too high! Jesus, man, what are you doing? 
Jump back, jump forward, air dash back. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Nice. Whoa, was not ready for this side swap. <laughs> Neutral jump, late neutral jump, air dash. Which again, not bad if you've got something in mind, but I don't think I really had anything in mind there. <laughs> jump back, nothing. I clashed with the fireball she throws. It's because he whiffed something also that I was able to actually punish that. Oh! The clash box on that move is awesome. Nice bunker. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump back, air dash, something. Jump back, jump forward, j air, air dash, back, JB. Nice throw. Got out of the corner with 5B again. That's like, I'm not even intending to do that. It's just happening because I'm trying to stop a redash. <laughs> oh, I overshot it, but it worked because he shielded there. He can make a really simple adjustment that would just destroy me there, is if he just walks forward a bit more, so I completely whiff whatever I'm doing and then just punches my landing. Oh, weird. Just me doing dumb shit. Shield counter again on that. Nice. I don't know what I was pressing, but I was pressing something dumb. I gotta remember, if he ends that with a normal C, it's like minus one or some shit. Again, ending 2B, 2C, and then jumping, <laughs> and a late JC. Just seeing what I can do there. That's a bad YOLO. I was just doing it because I already did it once. Oh. I think he was trying to EX grab there and just missed. Because it totally would have hit me. That totally would have gotten me. I don't know. 35. Jump back, jump forward, JC. Jump forward, jump back. Air dash, JC. Jump forward, jump back. Falling, JB. Oh, I almost actually got it there. Fuck. That 5P, 5P was like the right timing. It had the total right timing to catch a counter hit and then also give me something. Falling, JB. Jump forward, jump back, air dash JC. We've seen that. I almost tried to convert that. That would have been really cool if I had managed to convert that because it would have killed. Falling JC. You know, this is where I was just thinking, you know what? If they just can't stop me from doing jump JC, jump, jump JC, like I'll just keep doing it because that's my most rewarding starter if it's a counter hit. Oh, nice. He was ready to meet me in the air. I was expecting to meet him on the ground. Nice. Rising JA. He's really good at that. That's the shit I'm seeing that I'm like, man, I should be doing this. Nice. He does the real combo again. Or drops there, but whatever. Jump forward. JC. Nice. Oh, yeah. Just not block him. What an idiot. Nine jump, JC. Hey, again, if it works. Equio, equio, equio. Equio, equio. That's a bunker. It worked, but 
I mean, I haven't used Bunker very much. That was very obvious. Again, jump, jump, air dash, JC. So he got a counter hit. If he had done it early, he probably would have blown me up. That's just an unfortunate move he was going into there. Oh, and I was like, this time I'm going to go low, because he's been doing a mid-shield before. Nope, he low-shielded it. Again, beating low-shield, you just got to go mid more often, but at the same time, like people are going to low-shield because of 1 AD. Uh, 36. Unless this was 36. Am I fucking up again? I'm going to say we're on 36 now. Yeah. Okay, we're on 36 now. Yeah, like, uh, people are going to low shield more often because they're doing, like, 1 AD to try to do low shield or throw. Um, so I think I should, if people start shielding there, that's when I need to go mid. And then I've just got to start going mid more often than not. Just an unnatural pause there, and that paid off. Fake meaty. Oh, good snipe there. Safe again because of how deep I'm going for the JCs. Jump, jump, JC, jump, jump, JC. I'm like, come to me. Yeah, that works out. Again, if they can't get past the wall, like, I don't need to really change shit up. But if people very on show me that they can deal with just me doing jump, jump, JC, jump back, jump forward, JC, then I should start thinking of better options to approach. Because I don't think Fang's comfortable with this Satsuki to stop me there. Again, I'm just trying to hold up. That shit is so plus. Good recognition that it was going to drop. Super jump JC. But overshot it. That's important to remember. With super jump JC, if I did an air throw ender, it's going to overshoot him. So I might need to super jump JB. Get me out of here. <laughs> Nine jump. Two, two. And we do the actual combo, yes! Nine jump. I'm happy about that one too. Because I got the actual combo off my 2-2-C. That was epic. Uh, that puts us on 37. Again, these we, we played for a while when we were playing. Like, we just kept fucking going. Nice anti-air. Good anti-air 5A there. Nice shield. Nice shield. Jump, jump, JC. Jump, jump, JC. There you go. See, the thing is, with Jump Jump JC, what I'm expecting to do is catch them on the lower half. To anti-air me with that, you just have to do a rising butt, because I'm coming down very late. And if I need to stop anti-airs, then I need to start doing my JC earlier, which means it's not going to hit them by the time I hit the ground. Which also, well, it, it could hit them at the very last possible angle as I'm coming down. But that also gives them an opportunity to shield it, da da like lots of lots of ways they can fuck with me there but yeah just thinking of it like i don't think my jump jump jc habits that bad people can probably start exploiting it for uh, exploiting me for it but if i can adapt correctly 
Oh, that was just a drop. Drop in a better spot than usual, though. Uh, if people start catching that I'm doing it, though, then I've got to adapt. Gross redash. I should not have redashed there again. Some, a lot of times when I'm redashing, I'm just testing. But it's definitely... Oh, this should kill. Probably just needed a DP under there. That was something I can recognize for meter optimization. I didn't need that. I was not paying attention to that round, but I don't know if there's anything I can draw from it. Uh, let's just keep going, because I have a lot here, and I just want to get through them. Uh, 38 it is. Whoo! We're almost there. The gauntlet, man. I like when I get to play long sets, though, because, again, I can witness, like, very big patterns and how my strats are changing, so... I think these are really good. I think I already got like a good idea of some next steps to improve. Just be really conscious about how I'm trying to play the air. And then how I've got to adapt there. And then again, just keep focusing, ugh, keep focusing on finishing combos. Like that. That's a dumb drop. <laughs> That's another dumb drop. What is happening? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now. Again, we're on set, what is it, number 30? 30, 38? Minus the first six. We're on set 31 right now. Like, Jesus Christ, we've played so fucking much. I don't know what's my favorite, like, duration of a game. First to tens are nice. Nice shield. Again, I just 9 jump JC'd. <clears throat> oh man. That's probably a really smart super to just stay plus. <clears throat> <coughs> Whew. We were really playing neutral there. I was actually not being as predictable as I usually was, and I was just trying to find the spacing I wanted to be at. Because with Miyako, your spacing is really important. Ideally, you want to be outside of their button ranges, I feel, just outside enough, but within range to do stuff like Super Jump JC, Jump 9 JC helps, or uh, Snipe with Dash 2B. Like, if, I can, if I'm at a spot where I can do all these options that I'm good that I just needed to match I just needed to match 2p there because there's no reason I should have lost that it's a good guard break but again could not capitalize there that's something I can work on that's a situation I'm just gonna have to become more aware of so that'll come with time 39 we're almost at the bottom you can see the bottom <laughs> Oh, 5B. I am just holding up and getting blasted here. I don't know what that shield was. Was he expecting to actually catch my shield in the air? Oh. I get mixed off a burst. I did jump back JB, which I thought was good. And I think I tried it again there, but I got grabbed. Nice grab. Oh, the dash under. Whiff throw into buttons, baby. The Melty Blood Classic.
Mm. I was partying there. Nice pickup. Hey! <laughs> That's my place to mash. Don't know what I was doing there. Something dumb. That's also dumb. And that killed me. Uh, okay, next round. That's wild how that makes people move. Oof, I'd be whiffed after that. <laughs> hey, we're both whiffing shit. It's fine. That's how I dashed and waited to see what would happen. Oh, again, with throw. And also, my JC was so late that it beat the tap shield. And because half moons, I think, can only tap shield, that sucks. Oh, that ended the round. Okay. Number 40. And there we go. I just do jump, jump, JB falling, and I get my pressure started because they have to block. That was decent pressure. I should learn the better throw combo in the corner. A hey, good pick up there off that stomp. Oh! Oh, that was good. That was a good example of what my pressure should look like. Nice. I got blasted. Oh, I mashed on the throw. <laughs> Did an IH starter. When I'm doing those IH things, I got to remember I can just keep going because it's just an RC. It's like I get a move and an RC, so I just keep going. Nice. I thought a throw was coming here. That was really well played. Number 41. Last three, fellas. YouTube is not going to like this. Air throw start. Oh. Nice, Rising JA. I actually use it there to keep him off me. That was a good use of that, considering I was just thinking about it in these sets. Jump back. Max range 2B. Nice, shield again. I'm able to keep it safe there, but again, like, if I just waited, instead of doing a button, I could have landed and punished. So me feeling, those aren't, like, a win. The fact that he shielded those was still a good call out against me. I'm just lucky that I did it that deep, where he can't do anything against it. So, 
that's something I should learn to adapt on. That's not a victory if they do manage to shield it, but I'm able to land before the bunker hits. That's not a win for me. <laughs> nice jump back, though. That was really sick. Ooh, hoo, hoo, to bait out my shield counter. She. Overhead. Nice tag. Nice. Forty-two. Whew. Second to last one. Just having some super jumping fun. Went way too long on that string, but was able to redash and start pressure. Didn't do the DP under there. Mm. So I saw he was whiffing anti ears there. So that's where in my pressure, instead of doing that nine jump, I needed to dash back. Nice. I liked that pressure also. Ooh, 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 ooh. For mid-screen pressure, I thought that was good. Again, I got blasted there. Just don't go in so obviously once he starts shielding these regularly. I never really got him to stop doing those jumping setups. I shielded it like five times, I think, and got the follow-up. And I thought maybe he would start going for empty there, but he never did. So I probably could have done the shield on that uh, wake up a bit more like this. I didn't I didn't think I actually shielded there. <laughs> I was using that setup as an example, but okay, that works out. Did I die for something there? I'm assuming it might have been a reverse. Oh, I see the meter. I think that must have been a reversal, but for some reason it just did not get recorded. All right, final set. I am at the end of my wits here. It's one hour and 37 minutes into this stream, <laughs> and we're still watching the same set. Again, trust me, I do love long sets. But man, watching him back really lets you see dumb shit you're doing. So it's really good. But at the same time, man, it is exhausting. I cannot believe I played for like almost two hours straight. Knock down. Just go for 2P this time. That looked really far. I'm genuinely surprised that managed to tag it. And here we go. That looks like I think he was holding up there. And I actually got the full combo with 5P, 5P start. So I'm going to come back to that. OK, just taking down a note to come back to see that one again. Again, that's not a victory. Getting that shielded, I could have just waited. <laughs> we're just scrambling buns. I think we're both a bit exhausted here. I wonder if I should mash after I see a reverse beam. That hit way higher than I expected.
nice patience there but again that's a low combo so I need to figure out how I adapt on those there's no way I bring it back this round right I IH pretty poorly there in my mind because I didn't have a lot of red health to gain back and it wasn't at a place where I could have killed with a combo so that was a pretty big use of meter I would have gotten 100 back but I mean even that's enough for me to get a hard knockdown so ooh good 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 if we played more I think probably would have started blasting me more because even here I can see that he's starting to recognize some situations better and better he doesn't have the same combos and setups as Seesaw's, but that's what I need to remember. After I've flow charted myself out that far, that's interesting, that worked. Once I've flow charted myself out that far with my pressure, I've just got to be very careful about pushing another 5B because it whiffed completely. YOLO! And that ends it. Don't remember the score, but we stopped when I hit 20. Oh yeah, okay. That's enough for today's practice. Now I just gotta watch over the Tono Mansion. Yeah. Okay.